his decision, uh, obviously quite reluctantly given his well-known views on interest rates to permit an increase of 300 basis points in, uh, in an important central bank rate, uh, showed a real uh, sense of panic. Uh, the lira was collapsing. Um, and and very temporarily this uh, reversed it, but then it started to slide again, and uh, uh, the rate um, has stabilized again, but it's still well, well down. So it uh, indicates that uh, the Turkish government is beginning to get really nervous, but it also indicates that they have not yet reversed the negative sentiment about Turkey, the sense that inflation is uh, really out of control, that the central bank has effectively lost its independence, though there's recent mutterings from senior members of the government that really it is independent, but we, nobody really believes it. Turkey has a huge current account deficit, very highly indebted uh, corporate sector with large dollar liabilities or foreign currency liabilities and of course a weakening exchange rate makes all that much worse. So there's obviously remains a lot of negative sentiment in the market and Erdogan has, President Erdogan has responded to the crisis but I think it's very unlikely to be enough to reverse sentiment uh, uh, in a world in which really a lot of investors are losing confidence in what's going on in Turkey. He's obviously playing, as it were, for time so that he can get through the presidential and parliamentary election he's called for 24th of June. Uh, he wants to gain power, will be pretty well absolute, but that's not going to be enough. That's not going to calm uh, the markets. They can't be intimidated as domestic opponents can. So he's going to have to prove, I think, to the markets that uh, he's going to have a properly, professionally run administration. They're going to pursue sound uh, fiscal policy. They're going to try and reduce the current account uh, deficit. Fiscal tightening will be necessary. That the central bank will be given genuine independence. That uh, the bullying and intimidation of the private sector will cease and that uh, the market economy will be allowed to operate in a proper rules-governed, law-governed uh, environment. And I think the, uh, the belief of many outside, it's here where politics and economics converge, that an increasingly arbitrary uh, rule of one person who would completely dominate the government is just not the sort of uh, government that will provide these things. And But that's what he's got to prove. He's got to prove, in other words, that he can run Turkey in a proper manner and he's lost the confidence of many in his ability and willingness to do so.